Highways for Russians on motorcycles to hell in Ukraine. The soldiers of the 79th Separate Air Assault Torrid Brigade of Ukraine instantly stopped a group of Russian invaders who decided to break through their positions. Ukrainian media outlet Obzorevatel reports this. It is noted that the Russian invaders on motorcycles rushed into this attack and ended up in hell. The video was published on social networks by the brigade's press service. They emphasized that the events took place near the village of Novomikhailovka in the Donetsk region. Drone pilots of the 79th Airborne Brigade are filming a new version of the video for the legendary Highway to Hell, the military noted. It was this track by the rock band ACDC that the defenders accompanied the footage of the defeat of the Russian invaders. According to the director's plan, several Russian invaders boldly race on motorcycles in the direction of our positions, but at the finish line, instead of medals, they receive targeted drops directly on their heads, the military added. In the video, this is exactly what happens. The occupiers burst into the streets on motorcycles, abandoned their vehicles, and tried to conduct a shooting battle. After the first drop, of a Bavovna from a Ukrainian drone, several enemy soldiers hid in the bushes, but death overtook them there too. The film in the genre of tragic comedy is based on real events. Novo Mikhailovka, Donetsk region. Our days added the public relations service of the Turid Brigade. As the publication reported, defenders from the Lyot Brigade of Ukraine showed a film with the codename Gentlemen of Fortune. Its main heroes were the occupiers who in Volchansk ran away from precision strikes from FPV drones before they were finally neutralized. Russian troops appear to be fitting makeshift cope cages to motorbikes in an effort to defend against Ukrainian drone attacks. The ad hoc nature of the modifications has drawn mockery and comparisons with the Mad Max films, although anti-drone cages have been used extensively by both sides in the war in Ukraine as well as by the Israeli military in Gaza. The modified motorbikes, along with other similarly altered light vehicles seen on the battlefield, represent a shift in Russian tactics and suggest Moscow's forces are struggling to find appropriate vehicles. Russia threatens strikes on French instructors in Ukraine, Paris, Promises response. Russia threatens that French instructors will become legitimate targets if they are sent to Ukraine. Such statements will not go unanswered, according to BFM TV. On June the 4th, the spokesman for the Russian embassy in France, Alexander Makogonov, made scandalous remarks about Paris. If you send your soldiers, your experts, your instructors to Ukrainian soil to teach Ukrainian soldiers how to better target and kill Russians, they will naturally become a legitimate target, Makogonov said. French response Christophe Lemoyne, the deputy spokesperson for the French Ministry of Foreign Affairs, has already responded to these threats. These are outrageous statements that will not go unanswered, he promised. According to him, the response to Russia is still under discussion. Previously, the commander-in-chief of the Ukrainian Armed Forces, Alexander Sirsky, revealed plans for France to send military instructors to Ukraine. These instructors will train Ukrainian soldiers. In France, Commenting on the Ukrainian general's statements, it was emphasized that the issue of sending instructors is still under discussion and a final decision has not yet been made. The New York Times reported that NATO allies are indeed discussing the deployment of troops to Ukraine. However, they intend to do this not for participation in combat operations, but for training Ukrainian defenders. According to journalists, Ukraine has asked Western allies to help train 150,000 soldiers. Officially, the United States has not supported this idea, but the chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, Charles Brown, considers this process inevitable. Brown stated that potentially deployed NATO instructors in Ukraine could be at risk, so to protect them, it would be necessary to use air defense systems that Ukraine could use near the battlefield. At the same time, the White House refuses to send even instructors to Ukraine and urges its NATO allies to follow suit. сказать товарищи пиздец полный у нас нефтик подорвали